हाय दिस इज नितिन चौहान और आज मैं हूँ पंजाबी बाग के यू एफ जिम में यहाँ पे अभी भुवन चौहान की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस है तो चलो भुवन चौहान और शेरू बाजू से मिलते हैं
supporting white Rajesh Yadav. Please. So, I am to say to Mr. These are one of the top athletes from India. She competed in fitness category and the fitness category was just started in India. Uh, this was her first time when she turned uh, professional. So, we are proud of the cross for her and uh, we are taking her to the US. This September at Olympia so she can get more exposure. Um, is there any IIPB Pro? I mean, the new, any new IIPB Pro here? Because uh, some of the, we, we have seven new IIPB Pros in India, you know, there was a press conference here only in UFC Chicago 4 July. Likewise, we predicted that the standard of Indian bodybuilding has gone up and uh, uh, these are, you know, top people, uh, top athletes from India, which you definitely see at the Olympia stage very soon. And uh, Rajesh, thank you so much. And you know what's the common thing between you and him? Both from Burgaon. And um, you know, share talent and uh, I want to thank you for coming and really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, I have to ask you, uh, how does it feel after qualifying for this job? For us, death, who was so good. Um, so, I mean, it, it just sunk in two days ago when I got the contract. So until now I was like, okay, you know, you're qualified, but I didn't really say again. Uh, but once you get the contract, and once you sign it off, and you send it to, you know, Mr. Olympia, and you know, they, you know, it's officially a convenient task, but something just feels great. You know, I worked very hard, extremely hard for this. My last show, I was injured. My, I couldn't do my cardio, so I was in pain every single day, doing my PPP to do that. So, you know, I pushed through, so I could have quit and never won the pro show. So I yeah, remember this it feels really great after you put so much suffering and you know, waiting. So it's a great sorry of you did And the second part of the question is um, you know, is it my first step? Well I may I really believe in setting short-term goals in order to reach my long-term goals. Uh, I never set the bar that I would to become a slow until now. My goal was was in 2016 to become a pro. That's it. I never thought I was going to Olympia. 2017 when I turned pro, my second goal was to you know be top five in a pro debut. So that's what I faced last year, 2018 so Grand Pro Show. And then last year, I promised myself I'm not going to become a pro debut. Now that I'm there, the next short term goal is to become a pro debut. And that's what I'm. I've set my next five year target is that you know this year top ten, next year top five, the team keep going in there. That. And I feel like that's very important for every athlete. Yeah, see that you have social, you know, you see that Mr. Gandhi has a long day. You have a local show, you know, you have a pro with a long day. You know, that's really where a lot of people go wrong and they don't achieve their goals. I mean, how do we ever see the day's goals? Like, Mr. Gandhi, you have a pro with a man, you have a qualified with a man. Why? You must set your short term goal. Do the local show, you have so many regional shows, focus on winning that show, then becoming a pro, then going with that. Uh, uh, we would like to know about your journey uh, from school or college days. You always wanted to do bodybuilding or it came later in your life? That's a good question. Um, so I went, to, I, I went to various schools in India. My uh, dad had a transfer to so I went to Udaipur, Jaipur, uh, Banaras, um, Delhi, Gurgaon, all that. But my last uh, four or five years of high school were in Gurgaon from DBS. So, some I used to play a lot of cricket. You know, Mira, uh, I was really good at academics, so my parents were, you know, the <coughs> engineering. Along with that, I was like a state level cricket player. So, my goal was to become a cricketer. Okay? But from my 11th class, my aunt, 11th German coaching, she was really engineering, he told me, you know, some cricket players are too young. You guys have to see what's the city of the city that he engineered for all, and she was the job in India. So, uh, so then, you know, I thought you know, I should apply for uh, universities abroad and uh, because I had a good percentage, maybe I could get a scholarship because my professor of course in India, you know, um, they had paid the full tuition fees. So I opened an 11th program and I gave all the exams, I got good marks and you know, I got scholarship. So I went to uh, Canada and on scholarship and uh, um, first few weeks I saw, you know, you know it's, it's, it's a very normal thing there to do that. Or I uh, was a scheduled uh, engineering course for Kisar. I couldn't do any sports. Sports in class was only 5 6 hours. We last to be at 8 hours. So what do you do? You know, when you're so active in sports, what do you do? Okay, you go to the gym. 
So that's how we look at the gym. I, I made mistakes when I was not seeing time day. There was a push off. I started working out. And then from 2011 to 2015, all I did was just work out, get better, um, you know, just because I liked it. That was my sport. Uske baad, those are programmers when I got a job, uh, you know, I was financially more stable. And uh, everybody was asking me to be able to compete with some of the SNC division for one of the 2014. So, 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 I was never a bodybuilder, I never wanted to become a bodybuilder, but I was an NCC captain, so they thought, I thought that's like a fitness model. So, you know, let's try. So, in 2015, I decided to do a show, and in 2016, I did a show. And I won. So, I didn't have the first show, I won the show. So, then I thought, you know, maybe this is my thing. I did another show in two weeks, that was the state level. I won that one as well. So, I decided, you know, I have the genetics, I have the work ethic. So, you know, what's next? So I started to research, you know, okay, next is Scopa. I didn't know what Scopa was, but even when I started to give it. So, I had to research on that, and then after a year, I decided to go on a pro card, and I got that, you know, one of my classes. And then, you know, same thing as I said, you know, Columbia and all of that, so. Since you want to give to the fitness peaks? Yeah, like, as I said, you know, um, uh, I really, I really encourage them to fall in love with the process. You know, my support, they come they're very reserved women. They just want results. Some push off work, some push off work, you know, come here, be here, and uh, pro and that. And I see that, you know, a lot of athletes go to Jerusalem as well, you know, say that I want to be a pro, I want to do this, I want to do that. Well, fall in love with the process, results will come by itself. So that's why I, I say that for my journey, that's one thing I've learned. Pro and I may not be going into our body, may not be going into but I love bodybuilding. I love going to the gym. I love looking a certain way, like the same way. So that's the message. You know, love your diet, love your training, you know, be serious, walk hard, be relentless, and protect your goals. Thank you. Uh, Sir, Obviously, if we talk about the you know, India is the youngest country in the world. Our uh, statistics say that there is 63% population in Australia. Obviously, uh, you know, fitness uh, in the last few days, if we see, you know, it's becoming a lifestyle in India. How can we motivate it? How can we motivate it? How can we motivate it? How can we Basically, we've been doing it since last uh, 10 years when we started Shiru Classic. The, the Shiru Classic IHNL platform is uh, you know, a big platform which you know, we can see the fitness freaks and walk in you know, the talent and this competition is also because of the fact that Hindus are a very talented population. They want to learn more. If we talk about the internet, America and China are the third country that the internet is used. And our human beings you know, through internet ke madhyam se, they are researching more about, uh, you know, fitness, whether it comes to health food supplements, whether it comes to, you know, competitions, whether it comes to gym. So, you know, uh, obviously, the entire data is with uh, media anyway. So, through Sheru Classic IHFF platform, we are giving chance to all the people, uh, you know, in India who want to be, uh, you, who want to, uh, you know, build their name in fitness field, uh, you know, this is the right platform. Just as a child in school, you know, in his school team, in his cricket team, in his cricket team. So, as much as the U.A. Pindia, I want to say one important thing. Body building, make your fitness a lifestyle. Yes, drugs are far away, yes. But with this, knowledge is such a thing. You have to keep your study, you know, at least until graduation, you have to keep your study. Because knowledge is a, a, a key. Knowledge is an asset that will remain in their entire life. So knowledge ke dwara, you know, kuch bhi achieve kar sakte it will, you know, keep you on a right track on top of that. If you are, you know, more involved in fitness, obviously it will create to a healthy lifestyle and overall, you know, a good, good life which a youth should look up to. Thank you. Sources. Uh, protein comes back, stay the same year round. Uh, you know, the only things that change are the amounts. Okay, so it's literally, I can, I can give you, uh, it's so basic. But protein is chicken, egg whites, whey protein, and uh, fish. You know, that's literally all I eat, whether it's off meat or it's prep. For carbs, it's rice and oats, nothing else. And for fats, it's nut butters like almond butter, you know, peanut butter, nuts, and uh, whole eggs. 
So those are the fat sources, unhealthy avocados. So it's everything's the same. The only thing that changes is the amounts. Now, what kind of diet I do? I do carb cycling year round. What does carb cycling mean? Carb cycling means that you have your rose carb carbohydrate content of the fluctuate material, which gives up the fat content fluctuate. For example, uh, if I have Monday, I have 200 grams carbs, and I have 100 grams fats, and on Tuesday, I have 100 grams carbs, and I have 100 grams. When does I go to my carbs? I have 600 grams, and fats are like zero. So it's like a carb cycling, and you know, carbs and fats are like this, so we can stay in the same, pretty much year round. So that's my diet.